Today, I got a call from my old high school and they told me that they had a pelican. All right, so we're making our way into the nature center and there he is. I wanna see if he's friendly. Hey buddy, can I pet you? No, can I pet you? Okay. He's gonna try to use his big beak to attack us and he's gonna try to snap me. But when he does that, we're just gonna distract him just like this and we're just what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video is an action packed adventure. Today I got a call from my old high school and they told me that they had a pelican that flew onto the soccer field in the middle of a soccer game and wouldn't move. They caught the pelican, they moved it into the barn. I went over there, I caught that pelican and this pelican was in much worse shape than I anticipated. He had a hook stuck in his leg. He was covered in mites. He was anemic from the mites. He had an injury on his wing. And of course, I had to jump in and save this pelican. So if you want to know where this pelican is now, what is going to happen to him if he's going to make it out of his injuries, well, guys, you are in the right place, and we're going to hop right into that in just a second. But before we do that, we were over at my Galapagos tortoises earlier, and we found a bunch of ticks. All right, everyone, we made it to our Galapagos tortoise habitat. It's our Already in the 60s, which means we've got to get these big giants into their winter house. Now we have our bigger tortoise already inside, and as we were moving our smaller Galapagos, we noticed that there's some giant, massive ticks right on the underside. Now we check every single week, but these ticks can be mischievous, and if you lift up right here, you can see that there's a giant, massive tick. We see at least two of them, so what I want to do is I want to reach in. He doesn't like me touching right here, but we're going to get him. It's really kind of hard to get this tick off. We're going to pick him up. Um, pull it off. So right now you can see that this is probably one of the largest ticks we've ever pulled off a tortoise. This guy's like the size of a fruit gusher and there's several more. So we got to make our way right back over to this guy. You can see he's trying to hightail it away from us. But I want to look right here and I definitely see another. I'm going to reach my hand under just like this. I'm feeling, wait, he doesn't want me to get it. And I got it right now. One, two, three. I popped it off and look at that. We got an even bigger tick this time. So the first time around, we got the one that's right here in my right hand. And then the second time around, we got this giant right here. So we got these two giant massive ticks off our Galapagos tortoises. Now you see that this guy is completely blown up like a balloon. That's because he's latched onto the tortoise, sucking the blood off of him. But thankfully, we were able to catch it and get them off. And now that you guys got to see me pull those giant grape-sized ticks off of my tortoises, well guys, now it's time to hop into today's Pelican Rescue. All right, guys, I'm in the car and I am headed over to my old high school to rescue an injured pelican. They gave me a call and said, Jacob, we need your help. We need you to get over here immediately because there's a little baby pelican that cannot fly and it's stuck on the soccer field. Now, they, they actually caught the pelican and they moved it into their nature barn. And that's where it is right now. So we're not sure what's wrong with it. Now we do know that it can't fly, but we're not sure if it had injuries from the crazy winds that we've been having, whether it got injured from the soccer ball. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. The only thing that I know is that I was sent this picture right here. That's the picture that I have of it. Now it looks like it's perched up on a bench next to a heat lamp. Now these pelicans are gonna wanna seek out the heat, especially if they're injured. And it's been a rainy overcast week here in Miami. Lots of storms, lots of wind, lots of gray clouds. So we're not sure what is wrong with this guy, but he does appear to be a juvenile brown pelican. So we're gonna have to assess the situation when we get there. And by the looks of the picture, it also looks like he might have some kind of fishing line that's tangled around his legs. I'm not entirely sure, but there is only one way to find out, and that's to get there, catch this guy, get him the help that he needs. So guys, I'll be back with all of you once I'm there. All right, guys, we made it over to my old high school. I have not been here in a while, so it feels really good to be back. See the campus. Cliff's coming to help out today. Now, we do have a box. We don't know if it's going to fit in the box, but we're going to have to find that out. But we're actually headed over to the nature center over here. So there's a big red barn with all kinds of animals, and that's where they've had this pelican. So let's get over there. Let's catch this guy, and let's save him. All right, so we're making our way into the nature center, and there he is. Sharon, how are you? I'm good. So what's going on with this pelican? This pelican landed on the field uh -huh. to play soccer, and the girls weren't having it. So he's in the barn now. Okay, so there he is. Sharon helps out with what? Just all the animals here at Westminster. At Westminster. As you can see, we got birds, we got snakes, we got all kinds of stuff, but you normally don't have a pelican. No. All right, so we're gonna check this guy out. He's definitely injured. There's definitely something up with him. And look, right off, right off the bat, I can see that there's some fishing line tied around his legs. I kind of noticed that from a picture. 
But the real question is, is this guy friendly? And we wanna kinda of keep our distance, but we do wanna come right here. We wanna look at his leg, he's trying to get me. He's afraid, he doesn't know we're trying to help him. But if you come right here and we zoom in on his leg, you can see, yep, there's a fishing hook that's actually stuck in his leg and there's fishing line, which is very sad to see. This is that human animal conflict that we do see all the time, especially here in South Florida. Boaters not disposing of their fishing line and their fishing gear the right way. And then ultimately our native wildlife suffers. So I wanna try to get as close as I can to his leg so we can take a look at this because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this out myself. But when we do take them to the rehabber, they definitely will be able to help out if I can't because it looks like that hook is completely embedded into his leg. It could be up to an inch deep into his flesh. So we're gonna have to catch this guy right now. I wanna see if he's friendly. Hey buddy, can I pet you? No, can I pet you? Okay. All right, so we gotta grab this pelican now, but we have to be quick with it. If we hesitate, this guy's gonna try and fly away. He's gonna try to use his big beak to attack us. So if you come closer in right now, we're gonna come to him just like this, and he's gonna try to snap me. But when he does that, we're just gonna distract him just like this, and we're just gonna grab the beak just like that, and we're gonna grab him. That's how you gotta grab a pelican. You don't secure their beak and their wings. He could injure his beak, he could injure his wings. So what we do wanna do is we wanna bring him right out here into the light right now so we can kinda of get a better look at this guy. But we wanna do look at his legs right now. If we come over here, we're gonna lower him down. He's gonna to wanna to move, but that's why we're gonna keep holding his wings just like this. And if you come right here, we're gonna switch hands just like that. And you can see that this fishing hook is embedded into his leg. Now I do wanna try and get it out but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this fishing hook out. It's completely embedded in there pretty deep. And by the looks of it, the wound is kind of healed over. So what does that mean? That means that this has more than likely been here for over a week, a week and a half, since it's not fresh tissue, it's not fresh at all. If you come get really close on it, you can see where it looks like it's about a 1-0 or 2-0 hook. That's the size of the hook right there. But okay, buddy, all right, we're gonna help you out. So this is a brown pelican which is the smallest species of pelicans that you are gonna find in the world. There's over six species of pelicans, and these guys, you're mainly gonna find them by the water. And that's why he does have that fishing line from the fishermen. So what I do wanna do is check out his wings and see how intact they are. It looks like his wingspan is totally intact. It doesn't look like we have any broken wings. I am suspecting that the reason why he's not flying is because he could have an infection in his leg from the hook, or he's just in a lot of pain. But we do wanna check out this other wing we wanna look for any wing injuries. I know, buddy, we're just trying to help you out. So we got wings, but what we also have is it looks like this guy has a mite infection or a bunch of bugs on him because after holding him, I've got little bugs all over my face. They're crawling into my hair and they're all over his wings. So we're gonna try right now to cut the fishing line off at least. So we do have a knife right here and we're just gonna to try to cut the line. So if you come in close right now, we're going to come right here to this fishing line just like this. I know, buddy, it hurts, it hurts. I just wanna help you out. So we're just gonna at least get the line off so it doesn't further get tangled. You can see we got some mono tests right there. So we're just gonna take our knife like this and we're gonna cut the line off. So we still have that fishing hook in him, but it's gonna take the help of the wildlife rehabbers to get that hook off, rehab him, and hopefully re-release him back into the wild. So we don't wanna stress this guy out any more than he has to be because he's most likely gonna have to have a surgery today. So we're gonna bring him right over here to our box and then this is how we're gonna transport him but we do wanna kinda cut his legs and we wanna lower him right down into the box just like this. We're gonna release him just like that. We're gonna wanna cover the box and you can see that this guy's just gonna hang out right here into the box. Looks like he's shivering a little bit. He might be cold so we're gonna put the heat on in the car for him. If you look right here, he's safe and he looks like he's gonna make it. So we put some holes in the box, but we do want to kind of close it. He'll, this is like the perfect size box for him. We got our box closed up. So the only thing left to do is we got to go load this in the truck and head to the rehabbers. One hour later. I'm back from the wildlife rehabbers and I had to get a full blown shower. This bird was literally covered in mites. The pelican had feather mites all over it. These mites were crawling all over my neck, all over my clothes, I literally had to scrub them out of my head. I had to use ivermectin spray in my hair. For those of you that don't know about ivermectin, it's actually a deworming medication and it can also take care of fleas. So I literally had to cover my body in it because that's how many fleas I had on me. I literally had hundreds. So before I get into everything that's going on with the pelican, everything that the Wildlife Rehab Center is telling me, I wanna talk to you guys about something because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but for the first time ever in my life, I've decided to grow out a little bit of a mustache, a little bit of a goatee, but 
I want your guys' feelings on it. Are we loving it? Are we hating it? Guys, let me know down below. Should we shave it? Should we keep it? I want to know what you guys think. I think it looks great, but I honestly don't know what to do. Do we just leave the stash? Do we take everything off, guys? Well, I'm not sure what to do, so let me know down below. And now I'm going to tell you guys what the wildlife rehabber is telling me. So I was told that the pelican is anemic from the mites. The hook in his leg that you guys saw is lodged between his hock joint, which required him to be put under anesthesia for surgery. So that's what's going on with him, guys. He's getting rehabbed. He's getting the help that he deserves, but he had to have surgery. I knew right away when we actually felt that hook that the hook was really lodged in there. I was hoping the hook was going to be able just to come out really easily, but he got the anesthesia that he needed, the antibiotics, the medication, and all the care that he needs so that he can heal and hopefully be re-released back into the wild. So that is going to end today's episode. I had an absolute blast going back to my old high school and most importantly, getting to help and save our native wildlife, something that I care about so deeply here in South Florida. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for our pelican Friend that he's going to heal safely and if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me and you want to know what happens to that pelican and you want to see the rest of my animal family well guys all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below